Hey guys! Scissors! So ever since I did that video where I questioned whether you peel a banana from the right way or the dumb way, I got into a lot of discussions with my family and friends as to what's the proper way to actually peel a banana. As it turns out, there's actually a lot more people that peel bananas from the very bottom, and therefore that means there's actually a lot more dumb people in the world. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. You guys aren't dumb. But here are some of the arguments that people made for peeling bananas from the bottom. One, the reason why you shouldn't peel a banana from the top is that when you try to do so and it doesn't work, it mushes the banana at the very top and makes it all gross and stuff. So to avoid all that hassle and a mushy banana, all you have to do is dig your finger at the bottom of the banana and peel it like so. Come on, really? Now you got a dirty thumb from opening a banana. And guess what? It was that easy. That easy. That easy. Two. The knob on the banana is not so that you can peel a banana easier, it's a handle for you to hold while eating your banana! What? How can this little tiny knob support the entire banana while you're eating it? If you eat it while holding this little tiny handle, your banana is going to fall out of the peel! And the other thing is, look what happens when you try to eat a banana by holding it by the handle. When I hold it by the handle, the banana isn't sticking up so that I can eat it properly. Look, look, it's going sideways. And what does that mean? You no longer can eat a banana properly. A banana is supposed to stick up, and you're supposed to start from the top and work your way down. By holding it by the handle, the banana is no longer going up, it's going sideways. So that means I have to eat the banana like this. That's not right! If I were to give you a piece of paper and a pen and I told you to draw a banana right now, how would you draw that banana? It'd probably end up looking something like this, right? This is the top of the piece of paper and this is the bottom of the piece of paper. Therefore, making this the top of the banana and this at the bottom of the banana. So, top of the banana, bottom of the banana. Are you going to eat a banana from the bottom to the top? No! You eat fruit from top to bottom. Now let's say for a moment here that someone actually drew the bananas upside down. Now I want you to take this upside down drawing of a banana and pass it on to somebody else. When you do so, tell them to draw three happy faces on each of the bananas. When you get that drawing back, it'll probably end up looking something like this. And why? Because unconsciously, a person would take a picture of an upside down bunch of bananas and make it right side up before drawing happy faces on it. You'll never see happy faces drawn on bananas that are upside down like this because this looks more natural. So some of you may go, no, 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 no. You're dealing with drawings of bananas here. You have to know what it's like in real life. Fine, take two bananas and make puppets out of them. Make a puppet of a banana that's upside down, then make another puppet of a banana that's right side up, and then you tell me what's more natural. So here's my first banana of a puppet that's right side up. Yeah, I drew a face on him, I added little arms, and see this little knobby thing? It acts like his hair. Hey guys, I'm a banana! Look at my hair, isn't it nice? This is a right side up banana. Looks normal. So here's my puppet of the upside down banana. As you can see, I added a face and two arms. But guess what? Holy smokes, he has a huge boner showing. Now there's no way you can tell me that this is what a natural banana puppet should look like. Banana puppet with a huge boner? Look at his face. Look how embarrassed he looks. Oh, I'm so embarrassed my boner is showing. Galzin. Oh, right, right, right. And three, their last argument was this. Monkeys love bananas, and they eat bananas all the time. And guess what? Do you know how monkeys eat bananas? They eat it from the bottom of the banana, and they use the knob as a handle to eat. Monkeys have been around for way longer than humans, so if anybody knows how to peel a banana properly, it should be the monkeys, right? Like Charles Darwin said, survival of the fittest. If monkeys weren't the fittest, they wouldn't have survived all these years. And to that point, I argue, Really? Survival of the fittest? You're gonna use that argument on me? Think of all the dumb people that you meet every day. How do they survive? They're dumb, yet they're still living. And also, if you believe in evolution, technically we all came from monkeys, right? Are you saying that you're not a developed human being? Are you still unevolved? So unevolved that you have to peel a banana like a monkey and not like a human being? And there was no way that I thought that there could still be unevolved human beings until I encountered this article. Neanderthals are not totally extinct! Apparently, scientists have found that 1-4% to of all the DNA in people of non-African ancestry are actually from Neanderthals. So I can only assume that the DNA of the people who actually peeled the bananas from the bottom are like, what, 20-30% to Neanderthal? I'm just kidding, I joke, I tease. I don't think that people that peel bananas from the bottom are unevolved monkeys. 
But yeah, let's just stop there because I don't really want to continue arguing about what's the right or wrong way to peel a banana. Whatever way you want to peel your bananas, that's fine with me. As long as you enjoy eating your banana after you peel it, that's fine. There is one interesting thing that I found about bananas though. You know how when you normally peel a banana, you get all those string things that you have to peel off the banana after? Apparently, when you peel a banana from the bottom, you don't get any of those string things. So you can enjoy your banana a lot quicker. Although I guess the quickest way to enjoy a banana is just to eat it with the peel. So yeah, enough of this banana talk. Gentle. That's Mandarin for scissors! So let's shake things up a little bit this time. Instead of a question of the day, please feel free to make a banana puppet at home and send a video response to this video. Still feel free to comment below. And remember to subscribe! Hope you learned something. Anyways, bye bye! But here's my final argument. Bananas in pajamas!